Sports fans and baseball fans, I'm here with another game in my 1981 Pirates season. Of course, if you followed the series, you know that these are not the real 1981 Pirates. These are the out-of-the-park Pirates with a fictional GM who is making trades that, frankly, no team in baseball would have made. So, um... I will have players on this Pirates team, this very Pirates team, that were not ever on the 81 Pirates or any version of the Pirates in the 80s. And there will be people on other teams that we play that will also not be um, on, or never were on those teams. So um, here we are. You can see the standings down there in the middle here, right here. We are still not very good. We're 35 and 48, 15 and a half games behind the division leading Montreal Expos. And um, only ahead of the New York Mets by uh, two and a half games, looks like. So, uh, so we have our issues. Uh, we are ranked 21st out of 26 teams in the latest power rankings, which is also not good. Um, and I have some open positions, so I'm going to have to take a look at that. Um, but I will, I will deal with that when we go to um, uh, the, the game at hand. And today we are playing the Cardinals. So we will move on to that game. And yeah, you can see I've got some open spots. We are pitching Rick Wise. Um, he's 0-2 with a 450 earned run average. But let me see who I am missing here. Catcher, pitcher, um, center and right and left second, third, and first. Um, hmm. Wait, first, second, and third. And catcher, Rick Dempsey. Center, left, and right. Um, I don't know what we're missing. Um, because we have Cowens in center. First base, left field, shortstop. We're missing a shortstop. All right, so we will go to, let me move myself over a little bit here. We will go here and we will get ourselves a shortstop to play. That's going to be Tim Foley, even though he is having a crappy year as far as I can remember. So, yeah, he's hitting 158. Not really what you want to see, and that's part of our problem. We have some guys that are terrible, like Rick Dempsey is hitting 189, Foley at 158. Um, so we could really use some replacements for those guys. But I am not the GM, as I've mentioned many times before. I am just the manager of the team. I go with what the guy gives me my my general manager give me to work with so with that we are going to get into the game and i will i don't know where am i going to put myself over here probably put myself over here there you go um you got willie wilson up so i'm going to swing away First batter, Willie Wilson. We are in St. Louis in Bush Stadium. You can see the artificial turf. It looks like artificial turf. And that's going to be an out, quick out there. And pitching for them is Pete Vukovic. 
we got Milbourne up, Larry Milbourne. If you might remember, Milbourne, I don't think was ever on the Pirates, and he flies out to center. We've got two down quickly, and Lee Lacey is at the plate. Lee Lacey was, I think he was on the Pirates. So um, three down quickly, and Rick Wise out on the mound. And again, Rick Wise, and is, he, he's pitching against Dave Collins, but Rick Wise, I don't think, was ever on the Pirates. Dave Collins, I know, is speedy, so if he gets on, he didn't, though, but if he had, I would have had to watch him. Next, you got Ken Obergfell. Now, Ken, Ken Obergfell, he was on the Cardinals. Dave Collins, I don't know if Dave Collins was ever on the Cardinals. That brings up Gary Templeton, and Gary Templeton was on the Cardinals. And they, It's a one, two, three inning for Wise. I like it. Richie Hebner is up against the Vuk. And he is going to be out. That brings up Ken Phelps. Good morning, Mr. Phelps. And he's going to get a base hit. Ken Phelps with a nice base hit. Up steps Al Cowens. And he strikes out. That brings up Tim Foley. And Tim Foley is going to be out. And we got a man on that inning, but nothing else. Not much of a threat. We go to the bottom of the second. Rick Wise pitching to Leon Durham. I don't know if Durham was ever on the Cardinals. Offhand, I don't recall him ever having been. Um, and that's what's cool about this game. That's what I really like about playing in out of the park with the GM mode, this modes that they have, and the fact that even if you're not the GM and you're just managing the team, your GM is going to make deals for your team that you have to live with. Keith Hernandez is up. Keith Hernandez, of course, was on the Cardinals. And he's going to be safe. I could see that coming a mile away. So he's aboard with uh, one down and Daryl Evans who was never on the um, Cardinals, but he's also not good at hitting. And that's going to be a deep fly ball. It may move Hernandez over to third, but it doesn't. So Hernandez is still at third with two down, and Frank Hunsaker. I do not know Frank Hunsaker. I'm sure he was a real player because... We are not far enough into out of the park uh, where um, it would be making up a lot of fictional players. And I didn't ask it to do that. So he probably was real. Rick Dempsey is at the plate. We're in the top of the third. That's going to be an air by Templeton. So he's aboard. Rick Wise, I am going to sacrifice. I hate sacrificing. If you know me, I hate it. But with the pitcher up, I'm going to do it. And we are going to do it again. We're going to try it again. And we're going to try it again. And that time he gets it down and they throw to first. So we did successfully move the man over to second. We got Willie Wilson up. And will he beat it out? No. Two down and Larry Milborn up. And that's going to be deep in the shortstop, but he gets him. Templeton gets him. So you got, uh, we're in the bottom of the third of a scoreless game with Rick Y still pitching, not even breaking a sweat yet. And uh, that's a fly ball, so there's one down. Next up is Pete Vukovic, the pitcher, the pitcher, and we got him. Two down, and Dave Collins back to the top of the line. And Dave Collins is going to get on by an error or a misplay or an infield hit. Probably it was an error. And, of course, I forgot 
to watch him. But did he get him? He got him. Dempsey got him anyway. Dempsey was like, hey, I know, Skip, you probably went to the water fountain or something, but I know to watch Collins. So uh, Lee Lacey up. We're in a scoreless game here in the top of the fourth, and I'm happy to have it. You know, I mean, let's win it late if we have to. Richie Hebner up, and, you know, and obviously we're not that good. Richie Hebner flying out, and that brings up Mr. Phelps. Good morning, Mr. Phelps. Ken Phelps is going to fly out deep. So we're going to the bottom of the fourth. Uh, Obert fell up. Rick Wise on the mound, pitching wonderfully up until that double. So Obergefell, I believe, got a, just got a double, and now he's at second with no down. No down. Rick Wise up, though. Or no, Rick Wise pitching. He's our pitcher. All right. So there's a wild pitch. Moves the runner over to third. Uh, Gary Templeton's up with a, now with a runner 90 feet away. And now you got runners at the corners um, after the walk and Leon Durham up. That's going to be a deep fly ball. It might score the runner. Looks like they're trying it, and they do score. So St. Louis takes a 1-0 lead. Keith Hernandez up, and again, with the stolen base, these Cardinals. Got to watch them. Keith Hernandez up, man at second. That's going to move, be a fielder's choice. Run or batter out at first. Now you got a runner at third, two down, and Daryl Evans up. And Daryl Evans, let's get him, let's get him, and that's it. So St. Louis gets they strike for one in the fourth, but we're going to the top of the fifth with Al Cowens up the plate. If we can keep it close, I we might have a chance. Did he make it? Did he beat it out? He did. Infield hit. Tim Foley up. Now he's a regular batter. You got to let him hit. And, well, he moved the runner over. I'll take it. That brings up Dempsey. Of course, Dempsey is terrible, too. But he gets a base hit. That might score the run. I got to send him. I got to send him because the pitcher is up next. No. He didn't make it. Oh, my God. All right. And now the pitcher is up with two down, and he is out. And that's exactly what would have happened had I not tried to stretch it, although that would only have been two outs with the next guy up, but I digress. I don't know if that really would have helped. We'll never know, but there is an out. Wise is pitching well, though, so I, I, I couldn't see taking him out. Two down, and beat Vukovic up. That's going to be an out. And uh, we're going to the top of the sixth. So uh, let's hope we can. There's a nice hit down the line by Willie Wilson. A double. Now the question is, do I, do I sacrifice with Milbourne up? I'm going to do it. I'm going to bunt. I shouldn't be doing it. And he does move him over to third. So now Willie Wilson is 90 feet away with only one out. Lacey up, and he's going to pop out. And this is exactly why I hate bunting, because now there's two down, and you need a base hit to score that guy, and Hebner up. Hebner gets it, though, and we tie the game. So, Mr. Phelps, Ken Phelps is up, and is that going to be a base hit? No, it's going to be a fielder's choice, and we're out of the inning, but we did tie the game. Tied at one, bottom of the sixth. But that's going to be a base hit. All right, now I'm going to, let's see, we're going to pitch out. Um. I don't even care who that is. We're going to pitch out. 
Oh, he's trying to bunt. So, yeah, let's just let him bunt. Throw him out at first. Runner is at second with um, one down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pitch out here, too, just in case Collins decides to go to third, and he didn't. That's a uh, ground ball to the infield, two down. And with two down, you got Leon Durham up. And Leon Durham is going to ground out to Foley at short. And we are still in a one-all game, top of the seventh. Al Cowens up at the plate. And Al Cowens is going to be out. Couldn't get it by the uh, Hernandez at first. Tim Foley is up. Got to say, I'm glad we're competitive. And that brings up Dempsey. And Dempsey, is he going to beat it out? Dempsey beats it out. That's a base infield base hit. I mean, I was going to say, you know, let's just get out of the inning and then Rick Wise can pitch this last inning and then we can, uh, you know, relieve him. But, yeah, I mean, I'm going to send him back out there because... I mean, he's not even close to tired yet. We're in the bottom of the seventh, and he is not showing signs of fatigue, really, like real fatigue. One down, and uh, Daryl Evans up. Daryl Evans, a swing and whiff guy a lot, but he flies out there. And up steps Frank Hunt Hunt Huntsmaker. Huntsmaker is out. He flies out. So we're still going strong here, top of the eighth, in a 1-1 game. And uh, Willie Wilson up. Willie Wilson, Willie Wilson lacing the base hit. Willie Wilson having a good game for us. I'm going to try to steal second with Wilson and see if he can get a jump. He can't. So Milbourne up. We're just going to let Milbourne hit. And uh, that's a bad fielder's choice. Milbourne is at first with one down. Lee Lacey at the plate. Lee Lacey is going to fly out. And that's two down. And up steps Richie Hebner. Richie Hebner, bullet drive, but he's out. And again, Rick Wise, you see down here on the bar, he is he's only about halfway. Although I, I do realize that when guys get halfway and it's late in the game, the game says, you know, screw it. He's tired. We don't care what you think by looking at the bar. But that is two quick outs. Wise is pitching out of his mind here. That's going to be an error by Hebner at third. And with two down, I'm not going to bother to watch him if he wants to try to chance it. Oh, oh! Well, it was an error that allowed the man to go to third. Still, there's two outs, so. Oh, my God, a balk! If we lose the game on a balk, I am not going to be happy. Now what the fuck are we supposed to do? We're some real pretty shit now, man! Although there's a base hit, but still. I mean, I guess you could say that it, he would have scored anyway. And maybe he would have even scored had he made it to second. Now they got runners at the corners with two outs. Now they're just hitting him left and right. All right. <laughs> That should be an out. So they take a two to one lead. We go to the top of the ninth with Phelps up at the plate. He strikes out. Al Cowens up. Al Cowens is out to away. Tim Foley at the plate. Tim Foley is out, and we lose the game 2-1. to one. 
So yeah, Cardinals sneak by the Pirates two to one is is true on a balk, but we saw that Wise would have given up a base hit anyway that would have uh, given St. Louis what ended up being the winning run. But he went eight, he allowed six hits, walked one, so he allowed seven guys on in eight innings, which is great, and only one earned run. So that is it. We lose a very depressing game to the St. Louis Cardinals, and that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing